Shut up and sit down. Oh, hello, welcome to North Wales Side by Side video. All I'm doing today is I'm doing a full system scan on all the computers in the car to see if over 8,366 miles anything in this car has developed a fault and see if there's any fault codes stored in any of the modules. So let's let the scanner go through every single computer. And see if anything is showing signs of going wrong or we've got a perfect bill of health. So we've got nothing wrong with the engine, the hybrid, the, the battery, radar cruise. It looks like this car has not developed a single fault over 8,366 miles. That's very, very, very good. I know if that had been, a, this was a German car I was scanning. I would have some faults in some of the modules. Let's just pick let's go into the HV battery. Let's go and have a look at every single cell in the hybrid battery. Let's see how many individual cells we've got in a hybrid battery. And one of these Yaris hybrids. Well, it looks like we've got 48 individual lithium cells in this battery. And it's looking like we've got an average voltage per cell of 3.59 volts. So what that's telling me is that is a very, very well balanced hybrid battery for every single cell to be exactly the same voltage. That tells me we have straight away no issues with this hybrid battery. I didn't expect to see any massive variations in battery voltage.
that's just quite interesting to see what the voltages are on each cell so 48 times 3.59 that's about 176 volts that's stored in that hybrid battery that's off the top of my head let me do some sums on my, cal on my calculator on my phone It's actually 171.36 volts that that hybrid battery has got packed in it at the moment. And at the moment it's not even fully charged, it's about three quarters charged. Just thought that would be interesting. One, to fully scan the vehicle. Two, to find out how many cells were in the hybrid battery and what sort of voltages they run at. Hope you found that interesting, because now I've got a base mark where at a later stage in the car's life I can monitor the battery and see if any cells have got any variations on them at a later date. Hey, thanks for watching. Please consider clicking thumbs up. If you like the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much. Oh, for a little bit of bonus footage, I thought I would then check the internal resistance of each individual cell. So I've selected every single cell in the battery for its internal resistance. And every single cell is showing zero ohms. I'll have to find out is there an internal resistance measurement for these battery cells. Because I would have thought a battery cell would have had a little bit of resistance in it but According to scan data, there's nothing.